had no idea of what kind of crowd would be here today, uh, but just by your attendance, just the show of love for Will uh, and his family says a lot. Mm -hmm. So we've got teachers, former teachers, administrators, parents, students, former students, uh, plenty of media people that are here. And again, I cannot thank you enough uh, for being here to share this moment uh, with Will and his family. So I'm gonna make just a couple of remarks uh, as we begin this, and then I'm gonna turn this over to Mr. Sanders to tell a, a quick story, and then we're gonna give this to Will and, and get the, the work done that we came here for today. Um, I think back to seeing Will as a soft, uh, excuse me, as an eighth grade football player, uh, our first year here at Brookwood, and knew that he would be somebody special. I uh, did not know to what level, but we saw the character, we saw the work ethic, we saw the commitment to academics, uh, that it is so important to be able to play at a high level of football. And he possesses all of that. I wanna personally thank Will and his parents, because in the four years that he's been here, there have been numerous opportunities um, to go to other schools. Hmm. And they chose and they made the decision to stay here at Brookwood High School. And in my opinion, exactly what, as a family, they have proven is that if you're a terrific football player and you have extremely high character, if academics are a huge focus in your life, if you've got tremendous work ethic, and you're a really good person and a snappy dresser. You can go anywhere you want to in the game of football from Brookwood High School. I know that our faculty, our administration um, has played a great role in getting him to this point. I can't thank them enough uh, for what they've done for Will. And then also we're very fortunate to have uh, our trainer and a number of our coaches here today uh, to support Will. Because at the end of the day, and through this entire process, you know, we told Will, all, our only goal is for you to be happy and you to be where you want to be. That's our goal. And now today we're down to uh, Mississippi State, Alabama, and LSU. And he could not have made a better final three, in my opinion, than those. And I can't thank the coaches from those three schools, uh, Coach Arnett uh, at Mississippi State, Coach Kelly at uh, LSU, and then uh, Coach Saban at Alabama, of course. But then all of the other schools that have come through Brookwood High School this spring recruiting, wanted to learn more about Will. But the hidden benefit of that was these Division I coaches are at practice in the spring. They're on the field with us. They're watching Will. But there were very few of them that left that were not asking questions about other young men in our program. Coach, who is this guy? Is he a senior? No, sir, he's a freshman. Coach, is this kid a senior? No, sir, he's a sophomore. What's his name? Can I get his phone number? Can I get this? Can I get that? And so much of that is a, a huge thank you to Will Sanders for bringing that to us. And he's gonna leave a tremendous mark at Brookwood High School. And again, I can't thank uh, Will enough uh, for everything that he's done, the young man that he is. And uh, at this time, I'm gonna turn this over to Mr. Sanders uh, for a quick story, and then we'll hand it over to Will. First and foremost, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Amen. Uh, a quick story, and I'm going to name it The Walk. I've told it a few times, William's told it a few times, but not everybody has had an opportunity to hear it. And definitely have to thank his very first coach that got this all started, T. Lacey. Thank you very much, T. <laughs> so, we're sitting here. About this time, 13 years ago, T. Lazy weighs me down out of the bleachers. I get out there and he says, William's done. 
what? William's done. William done one play. We're done. I said, all right, come here, buddy. Let's talk. So we started walking around the football field, and we're walking and we're talking. We're walking and we're talking. Different things coming up. Get back to the start point. I said, all right, buddy, what do you think? He says, uh, I think I'm ready to go home. I said, you don't want to play football? No, sir. I'm ready to go home. So we take off a second lap. During that second <laughs> lap, I said something to the effect of, son, don't you think dad's ever had to do anything difficult or hard or tough? He said, yes, sir, but you didn't have to do it with cleats on, football pads, and a helmet. <laughs> and so we finished that lap, and I looked back at him again. I said, what do you think, buddy? You ready to get back out there? He said, no, sir, I'm ready to go home. So, of course, that conversation ended with, boy, get your butt out on that football field, put that helmet on, and go and play. And here we are today. So, you know, very proud of you. You know, you, you, you are very impressive. You're a very remarkable young man, and I'm proud to be your dad. But that's the story of the walk. <laughs> I would just like to start with saying, I wouldn't be here today without my Lord and God, my Savior, Jesus Christ watching over me with every step of the way I take, each and every direction, every opportunity that's come my way is and all thanks to him. Uh, I want to thank my parents, my sister, you know, the number one supporters that without them, without the encouragement, without the guidance that they have given me and that I've been blessed with, I wouldn't be where I am today right now. The family that I have surrounding me, watching over me 24-7. And I would like to thank the teams that may not be up here on this table right now. The ones that took a chance on me, gave me the offers, gave me the exposure that led me to where I am today. Schools like UCF, Troy, other SEC schools that have talked to me. Uh, I also like to thank my team, the ones on the field with me. I wouldn't be uh, here right now without y'all. My coaches, coaching along the way, keeping me, making sure that you know I stayed where I needed to on the field, put me in the position to make the plays, the people, my friends that, you know, try to keep me humble. It's not hard, you know. Uh, they make sure that I stay I stay right. But uh, most importantly, I just wouldn't be where I'm today without, you know, the company that I kept, the people around me, the family that I had, um, you know, keeping my head in the books like like my dad said. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that without my mom, you know, making sure I stayed, you know, in the books, making sure I read what I needed to read, my dad, making sure I got my work in. After a while, you know, kind of let me go and just do my own thing. But my trainers, my coaches, my family, my friends, and most importantly, Jesus Christ, without that collage of people, without that collage of beings, I wouldn't have this opportunity every day. So without you know, further ado, after this football season, I will be spending the next three to four years at the University of Alabama. <laughs> Once again, I wouldn't be here without anybody in this stand supporting me today. Thank you all. Thank you. Committee, baby. <laughs> We got Coach Mike Bramlett from uh, Brookwood High School. Coach, you're an offensive lineman. William Sanders just committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide. What will Eric Wolford and Nick Saban be getting in your football player? They're going to be getting a tremendous football player. Uh, but the great part is they're going to be getting an even better person. And, you know, I know one of the things that he's going to bring, uh, I mean, he's going to be a difference maker in the locker room as well as he is on the field. Uh, again, tremendous football player, great young man. Could not be more excited for him. And, and certainly being 17 miles down the road, you know, that makes it easy for a lot of us. Absolutely. Eric Wolford has been emphasizing physicality right. on the offensive line over the last two seasons. How will, uh, how, how will William fit right into that, that, that mindset? He, he owns that mindset right now. And we had the opportunity to watch him at camp uh, the 1st of June with their group of junior offensive linemen. And, you know, he just flat dominated that day, even though they're only in helmets. But, I mean, he was so physical even in that setting. And that's what he brings our football team, that kind of mindset. So 
He's going to do well, and, you know, again, super excited for him. You outlined Williams' uh, commitment to the Brookwood program, even given uh, opportunities to go elsewhere. What does that mean to you as, as a head coach, and really what does that say about his character? You talk about him off the field as well. I mean, it means a tremendous amount to me because, again, he could have walked away. He could have gone to some bigger, more established programs, but they made the decision that they believed in what we were doing here. They made the commitment to stay here. And, you know, again, he's nothing but a difference maker uh, in the classroom, in the weight room, on the field. And, you know, just that is just a tremendous amount of trust for me, uh, you know, that really validates what we're trying to accomplish here at Brookwood High School. Last thing for me, Coach, what will Alabama fans, or what do you want Alabama fans to know about William Sanders that they won't read on Rivals and Bama Central and read on the, uh, read on the message boards? Well, he, he's going to be a sharp-dressed young man. Uh, but, uh, again, he's going to dominate the details and everything that he does. And, again, that's academically. That's socially. Uh, you're not going to read about him at 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you're going to have a guy that's willing to stand up for what he believes in to help other guys stay out of those situations. Um, and, and, again, when the day comes that he walks away from Brookwood High School, and, you know, will be a day that we greatly miss him. And some people will understand just how important he was. Hey, Coach Mike Bramlett, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on a big day. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. Joe you. Gaither. Yes, Great sir. To see you. I moved on from Ty to uh, Bama Central. I'm here with Brookwood assistant coach Ronnie Clark, former Alabama running back. And he just saw his offensive li lineman, William Sanders, commit to Alabama. Yeah. What's your uh, what's your takeaway with this uh, college commitment? Man, it's, uh, it's exciting just to get somebody else to come along and be an al another alumni someday. But uh, I'm excited for him, you know, for the next four years to be there. Um, I think he'll do great there. And I think he'll be able to strive there as well. You see William every day in practice. What is yeah. what kind of player is Alabama getting on its offensive line? Oh, man, getting a, a very um, outrageous player, a very smart player, a guy that's willing to get out there every single play, wants to do right, wants to do well. So, um, I mean, they're going to get a tremendous player and a tremendous leader. Coach Bramlett talked about leadership, and you just hit it right yeah. there. What kind of leader is William? Oh, William is an everyday leader. I mean, even when his, when his back is turned, he's going to lead. You know, that character that he has and that momentum that he brings around everybody, he's just a good positive energy type of guy. I mean, I love being around him, love coaching him. You know, he's one of those guys that's going to be, I think, it will make it. Coach, uh, how did your college experience and your recruiting experience, how did you implement or give him any advice along the way making that same decision, oh, making just, the same decision? It's just pretty much telling him, hey, you know, just, you know, pick what's for you. You know, make sure that you feel there, make sure his family oriented because he's that type of guy. But, you know, just making sure he get that good feel so he can wake up every day to go and go to work there every day. And if he can't see that, then he don't need to be there. But I think he did choose the right place. Last one for me, Kill uh, yeah. Ronnie, is uh, – you, you, you've been inside the program, yeah. and, and William is a local kid. Talk about the challenges, or what kind of challenge will it be being from right around Tuscaloosa and playing yeah. for the Tide? Oh, man, I mean, you don't see too many kids come out of Brooklyn. Like, you know, him being one of those guys that will be able to come out of here and represent, I think it'll be well, and then it'll start showing that, hey, we can come right down the road and grab players. So, you know, just a big, you know, outrageous, you know, thing that he brings to the whole community. Um, that he builds up and uplifts these guys out here. Um, I think it'll be a great thing for him. You know, and like I said, it'll give him positive recruitment to come here. Coach Clark, thank you so much thank for your time. You. Coach right. Ronnie Clark, Brookwood assistant and former Alabama running back. Thank, thank you so you. much. Joe Gaither with BamaCentral.com. I'm here with newest Alabama commit, Mr. William Sanders. William, obvious question first. Why Alabama, bro? Right? I mean, from the start, you know, it was I had a top three, but something about Alabama just being the best of the best and just, you know, being able to have the chance to be a part of that. You know, like, want to make you know the best me I can be and on top of that you know 20 minutes down the road 30 minutes down the road it's 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 a comfortable choice not only comfortable but it's a it's a challenging choice you know challenges that I'll face on and off the field the the, the character development that I'll be open to to uh, experiencing so honestly just the best being the best of the best and feeling as if though you know if I were to go back in time and see younger me you know would he be psyched to hear this so I think he would be that was another, you know, driving point, you know, that made me put this hat on. I talked to Joseph Iannata last week, and he said that as soon as Casey Poe committed, he sent you a text message and said, you know, what's good? What, what, what's the uh, connection like with the offensive linemen that are already in the class? Yourself, Casey Poe, and Joseph Iannata. We don't talk all that much, but when we do talk, it's, 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 it's for a hot minute. So we have spurts. 
and burst some moments where we talk a lot. You know, they're great guys. I'm glad that I'm getting to know them. I'm glad that we're, you know, talking now and not waiting until we start school. So it's a great opportunity to get to know them and get to be a part of this journey with them. Alabama offered you after a strong uh, a strong camp performance in the camp. Did you kind of have a feeling after that offer that uh, you, you kind of knew where you wanted to go? I didn't know 100%, but I, have an, I had an inkling that uh, this might be the place for me. So we saw Will Conformity from Northridge to join the Alabama offensive line last year. You're the second local product to join the Alabama offensive line group in, uh, in two years. Do you feel any pressure being a local kid going to Alabama? But there's no other pressure than any other pressure on the field. I'm, they're going to be there to work. They're going to be there to earn my spot. They're going to be there to make my name. Last thing for me, William, and thank you for your time. Anything you want to tell the Alabama Nation and the people who are, uh, what are we getting in 2024 offensive lineman, William Sanders? I'm going to give my all, 100%, every down, and roll time. You look great, man. Thank you for your time. Thank Congratulations. You. Yes, sir. Yeah.